Hi Chemistry, I just wanted to tie up some loose ends before we get started on our assessment here. So um, looking up here at the first one, draw a molecular structure, draw molecular structural and condensed structural formulas for pentane. So pentane, the structural one, you know how to do that really good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's pentane. But let's figure out what is that molecular formula? We got one, two, three, four, five C's, so it's going to be C5. And then count all the H's around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there's our molecular formula. Okay, condensed structural formula. Let's look at that first C. It's got CH3. Second C's got two H's on it. Same with the third C. Same with the fourth C. And the last one's got three C's on it. I mean, you can put bonds in there if you want to. Okay. Okay. Um, drawing isomers of pentane. Well, there's one of them. Okay, that's one isomer of pentane. And then you could also do one, two, three, four. Now you need to put some branches on it. These are isomers of pentane. So there's one. And then another one. One, two, three. Okay, and then put two more branches on. Pretty cool. Okay, so those are two, three isomers just of pentane. Okay, then I've seen a couple of you guys see this on um, when you're looking up stuff for your um, for your group that you had to present. And this is a special kind of ring called a benzene ring. What does it really represent? Well, this is a six carbon ring. Okay, but it's got a double bond every other bond is a double bond. And then you still got to have four bonds in each C, so you got to put a H on each one. And it's just a remarkable structure that so much of organic chemistry is based on, how this thing is bent and shaped as it moves around with the bonds, but that these bonds, that they just kind of borrow energy from each one of them, and so they've got a synergy going on. So it's just a really cool phenomena, and it's just called benzene, and all we would ever talk about is a structure. Okay, what does this molecule right here look like? Well, let's figure this out. We got a CH2, so on this C we got H2, there's two H's, and then we got an OH hanging down. Okay, and so those ones are covered. Now we got another CH, there's an H, and we got CH3 on it, so that's really a branch. Okay, and then we got, so that covers up all those, and then we got CH3. That's what it looks like. So when they got this condensed formula, you got to watch out for when they've got, oopsie, um, when they got those parentheses or, or what's hanging on behind the C. Because whatever is there um, after that C until the next C, that's what's hanging on to it. Now if it's parentheses, that usually means that there is um, one hanging off of it if there's not any little subscript there. Let me tell, show you what I was just going to talk about with that subscript. Here's a unique kind of way that they can do it too. So there's the CH3. And then look at this. We've got five of these. See that little subscript that tells me we've got five of these CH2s. CH2, there's one, two, three, four, five, and then we've got a CH3. And so really that thing is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven long. That's really just hexane, heptane, heptane. Okay, one last thing. Okay, so draw this structure. So we've got a methyl branch hanging on it, but this three is telling you where that alcohol is located. And that has to take precedence over everything. So let's figure that thing out first. So you've got a hex and all. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the third one you've got an alcohol located because OL means alcohol. Okay, and then on the second one, so we're going to count, keep counting from the same direction, the second one you've got a CH3 group, a methyl group, and then you just fill in all of your H's. Okay, that's groovy, isn't it? 
Now the next question, is this primary, secondary, or tertiary? So let's look at that functional group and the carbon that it's attached to. Okay, how many carbons is this carbon attached to? One, two. So this one is going to be secondary. Okay, that's all the loose ends I got to tie up together for you for this, and I will see you later.